Well, hello everybody, once again, back for some more laid-back gaming. <sighs> yeah, would have been on last night, but I just straight passed the fuck out, because I was tired. It was a little too laid-back. This is all the way laid-back. But, let us continue. We're going to get to the good stuff now. So when we last left off, we were right in position to do Veermeyer. So let's just get right to it. Any objections? Anybody? Speak now. Forever hold your peace. Because we're going to start it. It's the road to the end game. We're going to take the crew that we've been rolling with. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infantry. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them up. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. About as surgical as you could possibly be. Got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers Why are, are we outside the makeup? Doesn't even make sense. Should've got more meta gel, but... Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's do it. Crazy crab things. Whoops. Oh, you got me. It's been an ass killing those things because. You can't really use your rockets on them. Unless they're right near a wall, and even then you still miss. Yeah, see? I might just blow right through here, but... There you go. Sniper? Yeah, you just got here right as I was about to begin. So you're here for the whole thing. Must be early morning for you. Got me, you bastard. 
obviously I don't have to kill all these guys, but it's fun to kill them. He did. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate you stopping by, though. <coughs> Good. Hope the uh, who's the streamer? Wish them well in their 24-hour try. Woo! Fast ones. Maybe we could stop in here and kill everybody. We don't have to. Actually, this one we might have to. I'm trying to remember. Hey, guy. See ya. Oh yeah, I know I can. I just like blind firing. Look at all these bastards. Anybody left? Get anything good out of it? No. What do we get? Oh yeah, shit. I gotta... Did I put my sniper, my good sniper rifle on? I bought the thing. Okay, good, I did. <coughs> Went to get that. She doesn't need a sniper rifle. But if you do have a better pistol, I'm open for that. Yeah, she ain't getting better than that. Do 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 do. I don't think anything. Ooh. Actually, there you go. Is that better than my shit? Incredibly better. I don't think I could possibly have any more shields, but okay. Smash damage. Yeah. That's what we're going to go with. How about you? Uh, no. That kind of lowers your shields. Gives you better damage protection. Nah, you can stay where you're at. You're probably as good as you're going to be. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. Wasting too much time doing all this shit. My fake running. Can I run off of here? Ah. <coughs> Game clips what it wants to clip. On the road again. Ooh. Colossus. Yeah, it's a thought. He 
did. Baby armatures. Whee! Oh, that one got me. Bastard. Some of them shoot quick, some of them shoot not so quick. avoid that because I knew I had no shields. Let's park it behind this rock here. And yeah, we can easily blow past these guys. Woo! Quick shooter. What he wants to be. guy back there. Ah, oh, they're shooting my damn tires. Bastards. Little one. Oh, shot it right over his head. Moving right along. We must find a way to disable the That's how we deal with that. <laughs> you hacked him and then you threw him in the air and then you shot him in the face. Awesome. Trying to shoot? No, you weren't trying to shoot me. Why are you still trying to shoot? Oh, that guy. Wow. Um. 
Target is down, Commander. We want to approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Nice and easy. Ready to move on your work, Shepard. Alright, well, my word is go. So let's go. Might as well fix my tires. That's what the Omnigel's for. There's a Normandy. Got him in the ass for good measure. Still someone there to shoot? This music is one of my favorite tracks in the first game. It's like such 80s sci-fi. down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. 
destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. It looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. I just need a few more minutes with my men. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon! And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? Once. Thank us for wiping out the Rachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Everybody lives. to calm the Krogan is impressive. That's it? I'm surprised you were able to beat him with the Krogan. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Nice work with Rex. I didn't think anything would calm him down. Normally I wouldn't think much of Solarians in a firefight, but these soldiers seem well trained. I forgot you were here, Garrus. I haven't used you in so long. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Greetings, human. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Let me see what you have. What little there is. What you got? Nah, it's a piece of shit. It's a piece of shit. It's a piece of shit. They're all pieces of shit. But, you can buy my stuff. There you go. Pretty good one. Yep, maxed out. Maxed out on the money.
Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. I just hope you survive long enough to be useful. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. I don't make a habit of placing my people under someone else's command. I understand that this mission is too important for personal preferences to get in the way. He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Army Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Elenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. Suicide missions yes, running. None of us will survive this, this assault, game, don't even they? your team. But we do what is necessary. Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manovai, and Jeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA guns so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Let's do it. Actually, hold on a second. I need a few more moments to prepare. <coughs> Take your time, but we're ready to go as soon as you say. And just save real quick. And also, we can level up. Are you ready, Commander? Are you ready, Let's do Commander? It. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Excellent. Then, if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird, going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We're still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander.
You all know the mission and what is it? Hold the line. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. You got it, Kiri. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. You got it. Uh, what should I give you? Shotgun, sure. Do it. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Lieutenant Alenko with A. Igor team. Runovai, Jayato team. Move. Time to get some attention. It's over now. The dude go. There he is. Coordinated on Monovai team. We can't reach the Geth turrets. They're out of range. Got him. To my music here. Unless it's just too damn low. There it is. There's the music. You got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off man alive. You random dude. What the fuck? Now that first shot missed. Peekaboo.
Look at him. They're calling sat strikes. Teodo, watch for comm stations. Alenko, can you see anything? Krogan. Thanks, Lear. Well done. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. <laughs> down there. Shat himself in the face. Well done, guy. Well done. Which one's the rocket drone? Take that one out first. interesting down here. I don't know which is worse. The gaps are all the same. I always like that line. The sand in your what? Liara. I would think the suit handles that. Hazardous if you're in the stream, then that's why you got that message. It's just something Twitch does apparently, where you can set it up that if people come into the stream, then they can get a nice message just welcoming them in. Welcoming them into the stream. Welcome to the party, pal. Is a saying from Die Hard. Guys, 
did. two ways. We can go underneath and sneak in, or we can just go straight to the point. Shadow team must be getting close. Hold the line, man. Hold the line. We'll go right in the front door. F it. to base secure. We can cut the alarms from here, maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Damn straight we can. Yeah, that's if you have a bot set up. I don't know what this thing is from Twitch. It just set it up one day, and I typed in a phrase, and I can't figure out how to turn it off. I'm sure it's somewhere in the dashboard. Lift. Say so you did yet? Yeah, you did. Indoctrinated Solarians. Oh no. Have some of that. We went up blind fire. Thank you. Should be dead. Nothing good. Yeah, they should have given me a, a Geth Prime there if they wanted to make it trickier. Just decorations. Hello? Is someone out there? Poor bastards. Hey guys. Give a little ground, Lieutenant. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. Is it up? Or is that... Yeah, this is the way I want to go. I'm going to go down to these guys. Well, you're not a gat. And you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during Rico. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? Transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat. And far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. 
Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. It turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that, please. Let me out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope you'll outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. Put these poor bastards out of their misery. These look docile. Their minds are gone. What drove Saren to this? It is cruel beyond measure. Let's see, I've killed them before. I've never just let them out before. Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are you sure, Shepard? At best, they might hurt themselves. If there is any sense left in them, they might be directed to harm us. I mean, they're no threat to me, but... Let's see what happens. Let them out. They won't hurt us. Very well. At least the blast will eventually end it. And I must follow them. I am only what it wants me to be. It never sleeps. It is hmm. Never let them live before. It's interesting. I always figured they would just attack me like the other dude does. Not that, you know, they can do any damage to me. Which way is the way to go? Yeah, I mean, like, that's the way out, obviously. right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Nobody's going anywhere till I get some answers. Private Meno Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd say anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What did they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper. Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Shepard. He's not part of the mission. No. No. I, I need to get out. This room is too small, and it keeps talking, and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. I need to get out. Let me out. I can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. 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 <laughs> Act himself stupid. Hey guys, you're a little slow in the trigger. Making me go the other way first. Thought there were some crates back here. Now is not the time. Not the time, Liara. When is the time? 
What are you gonna make some time? No more. Yeah, nothing good. That's a shitty sniper rifle. Anything good? Nope. 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 Nope, nope, nope. Nothing worth getting. Yeah, you gotta go upstairs first before you go downstairs. Let's see what's her face? Is it Raina Thanopolis. Yeah, these guys. be able to talk to him. What the fuck just hit me? What is going on here? Where are the guards? Where is Sarah? I don't think that amp's gonna do anything for me. Or for Liara. Nope. Complete piece of crap. Man, this equipment sucks. Hey guys! Yep, that's it. Please, I just want to get out of here Synoptis. before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you do not even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back mm -hmm. of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. Direct it happens to everyone is necessary. My first <laughs> test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think... 
he's scared, it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There's some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't... But I'll never... Ah! Oh! <laughs> I believe you enjoyed that, Shepard. I did. Anyway. Let's go talk to... a monster. was better than Harby anyway. Here we go. Shepard, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. I see, yeah, that's right. We gotta go do the beacon first. Then we can talk to Sovereign. Shepherd face. This is a place of evil. It needs to be destroyed. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. The best conversation in all that? three games. Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I do not think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You could not have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them, the legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. 
technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They are harvesting us. Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have Lies. no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Dramatic. Commander, we got trouble. Lay it on me, Joker. I love bad news. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. <laughs> you need to wrap things up Phrasing, Joker. Phrasing. This console is no longer functioning. Ideas, Commander Shepard. We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joker out. Whoa. Let's do it then. <coughs> okay. You can kindly get the fuck out of my way. Yeah, they're turning in the other position to the end hill. Looks like Shadow get the sensitive spot. Alenko, head them off. Hold them. Can't go that way anymore. Got him. I remember what that door is now. That was the other way in. That was the, the back way in. As well save. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. Ow, fucker. Is 
the damn sniper. Batteries are low. That's not good. Wait, he's trying to kill me. I don't think so, buddy. Good work on the gun, Shadow Team. That was our test. Uh, good work. Good work, Liara. And she's still glowing. There she goes. That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Joker. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold them as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. You keep that nuke safe. Another level. Just keep saving. At this door, next door. Yeah, this door.
Let me get rid of this asshole. you are. Little piece of crap, get sniper, ghost thing. Still collecting crates, because why not? It appears the Geth have sent reinforcements. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and is bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! What the hell are you doing, what the hell are you doing Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get the lieutenant and get the hell out of here. Belay that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I. It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. I'm sorry, Caden. I had to make a choice. The game forced I me to. Commander. I don't regret a thing. And also, it's not really much of a choice. Of course we were saving Ashley. The game's boring as hell. This is the reason that I save so often is because I'm always worried the game is going to freeze at some point. Okay, I got wrecked. Hey, Snipey. Oh, shit. See? That's why you save. Because <laughs> random rocket to the face can take you out. Even as OP as you are. Sense. Why wasn't he fucking shooting? Commander, you need to set the nuke and get out. We can't hold. Left flank, left flank. Suppressing fire. Suppressing. Kaden, no. Just Reaper implants. 
I applaud you, Shepard. My geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power. Even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction. I don't know. Ask the collectors. I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god. The pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pit the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the Conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Don't you see? You're just a tool. Sovereign's using you. In the end, you'll be tossed aside with all the rest. Do you think you can sway me, Shepard? Do you think I haven't already thought of this? Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like yeah, a machine. If entirely I true. My value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. You think so, eh?
I need one of them sweet hoverboards. That's Vermeer. Still early, so we can keep going. I, I, I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Alenko knew the risks going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. It wasn't your call, Williams. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm... I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Ash, how far are you going to drive yourself? Are you trying to be a martyr? To redeem your grandfather's honor? That's not fair. What the public and the military did to him was unfair. But I don't want to lose a good soldier over it. I, I, Commander. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? She wants to get up all okay. inside you. Go ahead. She can't help herself. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. The images would be so even though we I need a moment to did it myself did the you vision know, make it earlier it's a distress call a message sent out across the Prothean Empire a warning against the Reapers but the warning came too late what about the conduit there were other images locations places I recognized from my research Ilos the conduit is on Ilos that is why Sarah needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduits on Ilos? That's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas Dr. should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a convoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermeer was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign. A Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign. Ascension machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the reapers. 
It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a say. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Here's another saying. Go to hell. Maybe we were wrong about you, Shepard. Maybe humans are too hot-headed to be specters. Enough. Commander Shepard has performed admirably so far. This discussion is only a minor disagreement. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your mm -hmm. visions. Our decisions affect well, they'll be there soon enough, lives. so don't worry. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the specters. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly Switch believe exclusive. Is the That's real weird. Threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Wonder how much money they paid for that. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Well, let's go talk to everybody. That is what you do in this game. You talk. Yes, Commander. That's right, you have nothing. Carry on. You have nothing interesting to say, Preston. Yes, sir. Nothing relevant to the situation. Commander. I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know if I could have done it. There is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. I forgot the game awards well, were even on. I'm blaming you, Commander. I'm just. I mean, it's hard, you know. Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. That's how much I care about the game awards. I think I watched one. The one where it had like run the jewels playing live. And uh well that was something. Uh no more Elenko. Uh I'm gonna miss our boring conversations. It's a boring conversation anyway. I had all the meta gel I needed. Chakwas doesn't say anything interesting. They're tagging you in the tweets. Commander, You're popular man, Patrick. Are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Doctor Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Doctor Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply <laughs> driven by a lust for power and glory? Mortal Kombat 11. I wonder if they'll do anything different. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. I don't know, Patrick. She might be friend zoning me. I might have screwed up somewhere. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Let's go down and talk to everybody. See what they gotta say. <laughs> That's 
That's what you live for. I live for the friend zone. Yeah, these guys. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Caden was a fine officer. He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Glad I could help. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. It's gonna take a couple games, Rex. Sarah we'll pay you back, pay man. For what he's done. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. So long, Rex. Shepard. No more Lenko locker. Commander? About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying <laughs> for me... <if laughs> they just crank those I damn games out like every five seconds. I don't think I've ever played a Far Cry. I remember when the first one came out. I was like, yeah, it looks interesting. And I just never, never got around to playing it. I mean, cool for the people that love those games. But it's kind of like Assassin's Creed. They just keep cranking them out. Yeah, Patrick, I should, I should tip ban you for that. All your caps locking. <laughs> it was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. Same with I the auto let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember and I'll do better for them. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. Do you have a few minutes to talk one on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Dismiss, Chief. Sir. Yeah, it does sound cool. You don't find too many campaign co ops anymore. Except like Halo. I wanted uh, to thank isn't this the same what for, conversation Garrison? we've had? Forever. I've thought about. This way, we'll know. I'm glad you see it that way. Don't worry, Commander. I will. See what Tally has to say, and then we can get back to work. I know we might finish the game up today. It's only 11:40. We're already done, Vermeer. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? I should go. See you later. I think we're good. I think we're good. I haven't talked to you since the very beginning something of the I game, can do dude. For you, Commander. Carry, on. Carry on, Adams. You have nothing interesting to say. See you in Mass Effect 3, buddy. Well, let's just keep on going. <laughs> yeah. I'll pick it up if it ever gets under like 10 bucks. Update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. 
Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council is finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass mm. relay linking Citadel space Yeah, that happens sometimes. Systems. Sometimes they just slap a D DLC together. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos Trying to get a quick cash grab. Right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is... Think so, huh? Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in it the It was Kiri he's playing anyway. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under Do you control. Now? Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Well, that's false. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Is, is Blood Dragon, can it be played by itself? Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity well, Michael Bean wasn't John Connor. Michael you, Bean was, uh... You're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics. Why can't I think of his damn name? Your job now. Let me do mine. We've locked out all the God damn it. primary What kind of Terminator fan am I? Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you to leave, Commander. This no John Connor's dead. I can't remember his damn name. With my help, of course. Okay. Well, then I have it. I have it on here somewhere. Kyle Reese, that's it. Thank you. Oh, good. Maybe I'm not getting friend zoned. Oh, no! Batteries! At least it pauses the scene for you. Tss. Be funny if you put the batteries back and it's like you took too long. I'm out. <laughs> you made me wait too long to have a romantic conversation. You sure did, Patrick's. Commander, Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Giggity. Sorry 
Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Are you spying on us Joker? No sir. no, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The Captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. And... Yeah, Tally's been with us the whole time. She could stay with us. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. What the hell? Oh. Logged. The commanding officer. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina... Alright, well, let me just go punch Udina in the face, and then we'll be on our way. Be right back. I gotta go punch an ambassador in the face. Me and my femme fatale death squad. Alliance officials report that yeah, I might as well just finish the game. Armstrong Fuck it. This point. Has been repulsed, with Rome was right there. Probably only take me another hour or two. In the event of future death activity, and it's almost time for your favorite scene, Patrick. security presence in the area. Giggity. Let's see, how many people are playing Mass Effect right now? It's like me and two other dudes. Actually, a lot of people are playing Mass Effect. Well, I shouldn't say a lot. I should say five. <laughs> Five people are playing Mass Effect right now. Anyway, let's go find these people. Flux it is. That's a funny name. <laughs> I'm sorry. Normally I don't call people out, but that's a funny name. I won't call him out. Hey, this dude. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is it's really weird that they just I'm threw this in here right at this point. Like you're trying to get the main mission on, and this guy just comes in. What's riding on this. Like, hey, I'm, I'm a tough, hard-nosed negotiator. Like I don't remember seeing you hip deep in Geth back on Eden Prime. <laughs> I'm not on the front lines, but I'm making sure our jobs don't get outsourced to the aliens. I need every edge I can get. Specifically, I need a certain mental stimulant. It's legal, but blah, 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 blah. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Healer, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but it's just, just one time, time slip up. up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Will overdosing on stimulants and getting arrested help humanity, Healer? Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. You won't be doing humanity any favors if you overdose during negotiations. Get help now. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. Ooh, the power of the dead 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 That sounds like an addict talking, Keeler. What does it take to convince you? You're you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll I'll get help. I'm just sorry. Yeah, to waiting this. outside a bar for a random specter to come slap you in the face and tell you to stop taking all that five-hour energy. Hey, anyway, where's Anderson? There he is. I'm glad you came, sir. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. 
I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. Nothing is over. You have to go to Islas. You have to can't just Sarah turn it off. The There's only one ship that can get me into the terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls lock out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shadow. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy is your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be here. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Go punch Udina in the face. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this Let's station, do it. Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Do, 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 do. Why is the music in these places always so loud? It almost seems as if the people here want an excuse not to talk. Uh, yeah, to them. that's pretty much the reason. Look at this wall here. It's not even finished. I just want to see if something's out here. What the? Yep, here it is. I knew it was here. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Cram your honor. What's this riot about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Sorry. I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We like that he has a southern like accent. Shan -Chi to happen or again. a fake southern accent. I don't accent. suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of shan -Chi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. shan -Chi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I think that's the only thing that was left outstanding here. We can go back to the ship now. Shepard can bang Liara. And then we can get on with the game. <laughs> I don't even remember. Trying to remember like all the different sounds I had. Good news, everyone. There you go. Good news, everyone. A 
research station on Noveria has reportedly been destroyed. <laughs> The exact cause is, it, is currently unknown. What kind of game is that? It's basically... Even the research conducted on Novaria, is it like a uh, platform? No, not a platform. Is it like a, a full-on game or is it a fighting Novaria's game? currently faces criminal charges as a result of the disaster, although the nature of the charges remains unclear. I'm obviously looking for games to get for the Switch as well. It's like one little spot. There you go. The Normandy is amazing, Shepard. It's an honor to be among her crew. Nice. Okay. Is it like gauntlet style? Oh yeah, Diablo. Sweet. Okay. Stand by. Yeah, that'd be something worth getting. Decontamination in progress. You guys aren't even in the Deacon. corridor. <laughs> Best scene in the game. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't Ooh. You got knocked the fuck out. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Cool. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember if I picked it up free one time or not, but uh, yeah, I'll definitely have to check it out. All right, I guess we're going to Iowa's. There's nowhere else to go, right? Went to every system. All covered. Time for some soft core porn. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only <laughs> one I can trust. <laughs> it's what? Done. Really? How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. It's like a the drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy. hack it? And the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. I don't know why controllers are so goddamn expensive now. I was thinking the same thing. They, they're starting to charge 80 bucks for the stupid uh, Nintendo Switch controllers. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth leader. Sir, I just stole the Normandy and I'm flying straight to Ilos, but uh, sure. Sure, I'll stop by and do whatever the fuck you want me to do. What do you want me to do? It's actually, I think, is one of the missions I've never done because... Where are we at? Gotta go to Hades Gamma. <sighs> Fine. Fine. Where's Hades Gamma? I forget. There it is.
Cacas. Yeah, it sounds about right. Cacus. Going to the Cacus system. Yeah, we really need to do that. Let's just get on this damn planet and go. Wherever the thing is, I'm just going straight to it. I don't care about any other bullshit. Although this is one planet I've never been to, so... Maybe I will take one peek at it. We gotta go. <sighs> Fine. We'll do this real quick, and then we'll go to the other thing. But I can say I've never been on this planet before. In all my playthroughs, I don't think I ever did this mission because I usually just go right to Ilos. Which is what I should probably be doing right now because I doubt this is worth it. At least it's not a rocky, terrible planet. Cover me. Really? You give me my pistol? I don't think so. Close to the transmitter, your comms pick up a recording of a wistful string quartet. You power the system down. Whoever lived here, they haven't been back in some time. The crates are covered with Choey's chalky dust, and the status lights of the shack indicate its atmosphere ran out a long time ago. Is there at least, like, decent equipment in here? No. That's a lot of, uh, matriarch writings. And a big old fuel tank. Alright. Yeah, I don't think they gave me anything good out of that crap. Although that sniper rifle's pretty damn good. Wow, look at that thing. Oh, wait, never mind. Assault rifle. I don't think any sniper rifle is going to be as good as what I got. Nope. Is there a higher explosive? Nope. Nothing. Alright. Let's just... Friggin' keep going. I don't even care. Don't even save. Go on the map. Hit the dot. Let's get the hell out of here. Get the goddamn hell out of here so we can go to Ilos. That's what I want to do. I wish I could be more excited for this mission. Because, like I said, I've done almost everything in this game. And this is the one planet I've never been on. 
but I'm not really excited for it because it's holding me up from finishing the damn game again. is terrible. Underground bunker. Make sure they get their weapons out. Yeah, you got your pistol, you got your shotgun. Okay. Let's do it. But remember to check your targets. No. Oh, lovely. Did. Thank you. I got two researchers killed. That's a shame. I will destroy you. Yeah, it's a good one for this. Back here. This crazy bastard go. You don't get to run away. No, actually, here's what I want to do to you. Works like a charm every time. Not quite. Pretty much. I guess that was interesting. Anything back here worth finding? I mean, they put in shelves, I guess. Oh my god, that's terrible. Ugh. <sighs> well, 
The worst part is I gotta go walk all the way back to the beginning of the bunker to get the hell out of here. Keep holding out hope that this was worth it. But it keeps proving me wrong. Okay, that was worth it. <laughs> I want to go talk to this guy. They're in my head. All of them with knives. <laughs> yeah, that's not as funny as the first one, but. The Bubbles chick. She was worth it. Well, now I could say I've done that. Let's go to Iowa's. And let's never speak of this planet again. coming in. Patching it through. Good work, Commander. You took down the biotics with minimal collateral damage. I'm sorry we lost some of the researchers, Admiral. The biotics knew what they were doing. Nobody could have gotten out of there with fewer innocent lives lost. You saved a lot of lives today, Commander. Fifth fleet out. Alright, now if you don't mind, Admiral, we kind of have a galaxy to save. Save it right here. And then we will start the end game. Hopefully you're still there, Patrick. It's your favorite time. speak with you I was just thinking about you I have been thinking about you too and what we are about to face I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos I hope we will stop Saren of course but part of me fears we are already too late there is something I must tell you in case we fail we're not going to fail I promise please I am not looking for comfort Saren might already have the conduit it is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. I want this, Liara. I do. But are you sure you're ready? I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies <laughs> and minds unite. Where's the one that says giggity? Thought you'd never ask. Eighteen plus stream. It's eighteen plus. some reason Shepard's already dressed and creepily sitting over there staring at her. By the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. Ready for round two? <laughs> Commander? Five minutes, ETA. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. 
Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. <laughs> so Paul is watching. That's funny. <laughs> Pablo. Nobody noticed that. We're just gonna slip right in. Uh, Commander. <laughs> I knew you were here. <laughs> Have their sensors picked us up yet? Figured you'd be asleep, man. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings. Everybody, inexplicably, start shouting. Down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. <laughs> Joker. Now I am. Drop us right on top of that bastard. You get to see what you wanted to see, and now you're out. It's nothing like waking, waiting for 20 seconds of softcore porn. If it could be even considered that. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Indeed we shall. Go kill some Gith. Watch out for those assholes. You two stay there. No problems.
trying to kill me. computer consoles everywhere. You poor bastard. They left you here to die. Never overheats. If there's anything up there worth going up there for, but we're doing it. <coughs> Let's take an even slower moving elevator. That's sweet, sweet loot. But no, we can't just walk off of here. That would make too much sense. We gotta go take the elevator back down. Sounds good. Yeah, 
Yeah, he did. I guess that was announced at the Game Awards. Playing. Cool. Geth Prime. Yeah, we need to take that fucker out. No, you can, you guys can go away. Okay, take that fucker out right away. That's right, that's the way out of here. I want us to go upstairs first. start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred Sweet. into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. They cannot be stopped. I think I actively did anything. I 
Maybe just pressing that button to talk to that garbled message. Made it so the doors could open. Really cool architecture. I always forget to do that, to like just look up and see the world that they've built. You're always just staring at what's in front of you. And I ain't walking that far. I have spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Please, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up with... What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryo... Ah, oh, you bastards. Get wrecked. Get out of my way. What is happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I do not think Saren is behind this. Let's go talk to Exposition Bots. 347. Yeah, they're a pretty good company. Hey, Vigil. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers <laughs> ensures no other species... I'm sure somebody came up with a mod that does that. Nature, but not until, the until then... And the Reapers invade. We can only kill Caden. Because between the two, Ashley's hotter. 
How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? How's it going today? We have only MSFT the Jan? Here came to believe the Reapers and the Microsoft Jan? of an activity to conserve energy. Okay, sounds this good. This allows them to survive How are you doing for thousands today? and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence. Ah, she learns. Until the she learns. Is activated. Jan is much easier to say. The Reapers can wipe out the council but and the entire Citadel fleet. Even though she's a racist, back. space racist, that was our She's still more interesting our than Caden. were dead before we even realized we were under attack. This is true. This is true. Control of the but Caden is still boring as fuck. I think out of the, you know, 20 plus times that I've beaten this crippled. game, I think I've only saved Caden one time. Was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you had surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census mm -hmm. data. Information is power, <laughs> and they knew everything about us. It's funny, like, the drastic difference their between their characters, though. across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare. Harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. A, a bit. Everything of value, all resources, all technology. They didn't even really do him any favors in Mass Effect 3 either. Certain that all advanced just like, organic life just kept going with the Boy Scout the Reapers routine. Retreated back through the Citadel relay like, sorry, into Commander. dark space. Sealing Although maybe he's them. a little more animated. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves if were left behind. You play as Fem Shep, which I don't do often. I think, husks, again, I've only no played Femship maybe once thought. or twice. The indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide I'm sure he has, like, you know, some more complete. lines, maybe. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. AKA, the writers didn't think up a reason. They just were like, uh, stop you asking questions. For a reason. Tell me what they haven't I figured that do. part out yet. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attack, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top-secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. Go on. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. 
One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. The Jedi this web outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. Guess Patrick's is playing Rage. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll take Sovereign down, somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. That's Sarah's enough talking, enough of exposition, but that data file let's, and let's go. go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now, the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm sorry, Liara. We have to stop Sarah. Nothing else matters. You are right. I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. We... we should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Then let's do it. Alright, let's get this show on the road. So, what are you ladies doing after this? We could level up. Let's level up then. Nice. All right, let's do it. Where's my epic music? that turn. Whee! 
Whoa! Can't say I've ever done that before. Here's my epic 80s sci-fi music. Jump higher than that, Jesus Christ. Damn thing. Whee. I like taking the rockets right to the face, don't you? to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Oh, look at that, Council. Maybe you should have done something. Sovereign is my favorite Reaper. He's just such Activate a complete defenses. asshole. Seal the, stage. the arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the Council. Abandon the Citadel. Citadel, like Citadel control. Billions of help? people on there. And then they just drop you back in, and they're just like, "Oh yeah, you have 40 seconds. Go." Good luck. Shut our Mako right through space. Receiver. Come on, you come down way too slow. Out my face. So, what do you think we're going to find up there? Oh, fade to black. What'd that keeper ever do to you, man?
Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. Yeah, good luck trying to stop them. out of my way. <laughs> exactly. And he's plugged in. Saren's locked the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. It's not my gun. Oh yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Oh yeah, we just gotta fight that thing. Piece of cake. I love how there's elevators that just stop to bring one yes right at me. What? Yeah, get wrecked. That don't make sense. What? There you go. Trying to shoot. Tally is very dangerous with that gun. <laughs> she just wrecks shit. Buddy. Yeah, he did. Act and still trying to attack me. Dick. Lost shields. Am I really though? Things can take a punch. Oop. Yeah, he did now. Okay.
exactly what I wanted. Oh, much, much bigger now. Come back. Oh, this asshole came back. Where the hell did he come from? We think the juggernauts would be harder, but they're not. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. <laughs> he did. My girls took him out. I saw it coming too. I was diving back into cover. That did not hit me. See how far back it puts me? All the way at the beginning of it? Yep. Well, that's fun. Now I'm mad. A turn is my nemesis.
Yeah, that'll work. Got at me out of his ass. He deserves to get through. did good that was a good time to save so I don't get snuck by a damn rocket in the face or get stepped on by a reaper about him no more. And peekaboo. You almost got me with a rocket to the face. stand up. There you go. I can't even use you to do still. There we go.
there's that guy. He poses a threat. Sort of. Nah. <laughs> strategically play shields. They do nothing. Hammering. Minor rocket to the face, setting us back a little bit, but we're good now. We don't need to do that part again. Mind if I do? Hey, Saren, how's it going? Long time no see. Control panel, and you can't stop me. You survived our encounter on Vermeyer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union flesh and steel, the strengths of both, the weaknesses oh, like of Oh, like synthesis. I am a vision of the future, Shepard, the evolution of all organic life. This is mm. our destiny. Mm. Join Sovereign mm. and experience a true rebirth. The Reapers don't use organics. They devour and discard them. As soon as the conquest is over, you'll be cast aside. I had no choice. You saw the visions. You saw what Cynthia's happened to the Proteans. Synthesis is such Surrender bullshit. Death. There are no other options. You could have resisted. You could have fought. Instead, you surrendered. You quit. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... <laughs> the implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. There's still one way to stop this. If you've got the guts. Goodbye. 
Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. You were expecting someone else? We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension or hold back? Yeah, I always thought that concentrating on Sovereign was the right choice. Because, you know, what's one ship versus a whole fleet? But we'll save the Council this time. I usually just let them... I don't say let the Council die. I usually choose the medium decision which is hold back you know makes more tactical sense we'll save Open the council now joker we need to save the ascension no matter what the cost i hope the council appreciates this but it's cool alliance ships move in. humanity gets to look save like cowboys ascension. Reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the goddess. Sure, he's dead. Tell he's cold blooded. Like, literally, I think our species is cold blooded. He's dead. Sovereign is not happy. This station is mine. He 
say so, dude. Damn quick. It's actually the quickest I ever killed him. Well, he's not dead, dead, because the quickest I got to the cutscene. These batteries are low, too. Jesus, I need to charge some batteries. Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down, no matter what the cost. Seven GG. Watch out for his toe. Did Shipper make it? Take it easy. 
It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? He got squished by a toe. Oh wait, never mind. He's right over there. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice. And we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many blah, noble blah, men blah, and women. Blah, blah, blah. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our and actions. petty words. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. <laughs> Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Council. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era fuck for both humanity and the Council. Even though he ends up as the ambassador anyway in the third one. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. Damn straight. I don't know where I'm standing right now. Hopefully in a spaceship of some kind. All that's left to do now is rock out the fonts. Alrighty. Mass Effect 1, everyone. Well, at least I got everything from Vermeer to the end all knocked out in one night. Now we can go on to Mass Effect 2 tomorrow. 
get that bad boy started. Indeed. Thanks for hanging out, Hazardous. And everyone else that's in the uh, in the room lurking. I appreciate you hanging out. Watching to the end. Obviously, if you see in the title, it says Trilogy. So we're going to be doing Mass Effect 2 starting tomorrow. And then after that, Mass Effect 3. Man, I don't think I'm going to be doing Andromeda again. Not right now. Uh, some more time. I usually start around 11 or uh, later. Tonight I was able to get on earlier. That's why I was able to just bang the whole thing out in one sitting. But typically we're on about 11 Eastern. So anyone that's in chat that wants to join me tomorrow, just drop that follow and then you'll get notified exactly when I come on. And then you will know. And knowing is half the battle. I played the whole game just to hear this song. There's the noise. Thank you, Hazardous, for that follow. I appreciate it. Hazardous is indeed now indoctrinated. Sorry, Hazardous. You're under the channel's control now. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I will see you for Mass Effect 2 as well. <laughs> nice. Nice icon. Cool, man. Glad I, glad I can make it fun. Are you a streamer yourself, or are you just like watching? problem in that. I know a lot of people who like to just watch channels. GG Patrick's. GG. I'm going to TV down a little bit. Less echo. Oh yeah, Mass Effect. Obviously, you couldn't tell it's my favorite series. I typically try to play it through at least once a year. Usually around Thanksgiving is when I start. And we got it done pretty quick this year. Mass Effect 1 at least. What is it? So, is it the 7th of December now? Pretty sure I started... I started right after Thanksgiving, basically. So, one, two, yeah, about two weeks. Two weeks until the end there, 25 hours. Probably the quickest I can beat it. Obviously, you can beat it quicker than that, but getting everything pretty much 100%. <laughs> I 
crazy toast man with a sandwich man. So who's your favorite character in the game has I just I seem to go back and forth, but Liara is always my favorite. Garrison's pretty cool. I didn't use him this time that much, but I usually do end up using him and him and Liara a lot of times. I went with Tally this time. Rex is also my boy. In this game, he's kind of dull. He, he definitely lightens up a lot in later games. I do like Ashley, even though everybody hates her. Actually, the first time I played through the game, Ashley was the first romance I did. Caden is by far the least interesting character in Mass Effect 1, because we get to Mass Effect 2, Caden has a, a clone, and his name is Jacob. Everybody finds Ashley annoying. <laughs> that's her. That's her role is to just be the bitch. I don't know. I guess I'm just attracted to bitchy women. It's a character flaw on my part, I guess. That is that. So thanks everybody for hanging out. I appreciate it. Stay tuned tomorrow. When we were going to start Mass Effect 2. Oh yes. It, I mean, Mass Effect 2... Mass Effect 1 is my favorite game. Just because it brought everything in. Established the whole story and everything. Mass Effect 2 has the best characters and the best side stories. I think that has the most depth in that area there and it gives you a lot more areas to explore. The story itself is a little lacking. Like you take like a step down fighting collectors versus fighting uh, you know the reapers themselves even though Harbinger shows up more. But still it's gonna be fun. We got all the DLC. Got it. every DLC there is. So we're going to be doing it all until we're done, and then we're going to go do Mass Effect 3. Finish the whole story once again. See how long it takes. I wonder if we'll get done before the end of the year. Probably not. Probably go into January. I don't get too many hours. Tonight I had a little extra time. I usually I get maybe two, three hours a night. We'll bang the whole thing out. But again, thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you again tomorrow if you tune in. Take it easy, everybody.